On this episode of Motivate's Do-It-Yourself Garage, we're going to see how much power the still unkept back exhaust puts down. Let's have a quick review of the done results with the stock exhaust and the K&N panel air filters. The two run down on average resulted in a peak torque of 250 foot pounds and a peak horsepower of 298. Now, I'll bet some of you are saying, uh -huh. in episode one you said it made 300 horsepower, not 298. Well, uh, I made a mistake. The graph is correct, but the peak horsepower number is wrong. It should be 298. Don't worry. To prevent future errors, I've given myself a stern written warning and told myself, do not let this happen again. Also, as requested, I have added the air fuel ratio from data logging during the dyno run. All right, it is now time to find out how much power does a still in catback exhaust make on the G37 Sport Sedan. Peak torque is now 259 foot pounds at 4400 RPM and peak horsepower is 303 at 6500 RPM. If we just look at the peak number, that's a gain of 9 foot pounds of torque and 5 horsepower over the stock exhaust with the k panel air filters. However, there's a problem. After 6500 RPM, the power drops, levels off and drops some more. This may be due to the exhaust, or maybe it had something to do with the dyno. I don't know why it did this, but it really doesn't matter. And here's why. Peak power numbers are not as meaningful as you may think. A smaller but consistent gain over a wider RPM range is generally faster than a large gain in a narrow RPM range. Alright, enough of that. Let's get back to the dyno. The average gain from 3500 to 6500 RPM is 8 foot pounds of torque and 7 horsepower. In comparing this dyno to the stock dyno from episode 1, we have a peak increase of 14 foot pounds of torque and 17 horsepower. And that gives us an average gain of 15 foot pounds of torque and 17 horsepower over 3000 RPM. There is just one question left. Is the still in catback exhaust worth it? Let me put it to you this way. I live in Toronto and I had to pay an additional 32% due to the currency exchange. However, I forget about that every time I start the car and I'm throwing through the gears with a VQ37 singing its wonderful song. So yeah, it's worth it.